Well, good morning, one and all. I'm Max Stevens. I buy old records. The sun has finally come up. I've been on the road a while. Heading down to Austin, going to see my friend Alberto, atomic tube master himself. I bought a beautiful Ampex uh, 600, I believe it is. It's the portable high fidelity reel to reel tape recorder from the 50s. This is what companies would use when they'd go out on, you know, record in the field as it were and it comes with a little matching amp I think the 620 maybe I've got those numbers uh, reversed Jesse Lee's over here stone cold asleep that's all right he growing boy but anyway gonna go down there and see Alberto drop those off along with my old Califone turntable that I love it's developed a really prominent 60 cycle hum of some sort I'm gonna see if Alberto can take away the hum and teach it the real words, and then it'll sing properly. After that, we're going to drive around, look for records, etc. Work our way back home, maybe go check on my daughter, Chelsea, who's down in Corsicana, Texas. They need to put the ICANN in Corsicana. They hadn't had that in decades. But anyway, I'm gonna drop an old guitar of mine off. She wanted a guitar that I owned, and this is the this will be the first guitar I ever used on recordings and such. Because when I get down to Buenos Aires, I'm not going to take everything I own with me. That'd be uh, foolish. They don't make containers that big for me to cart all my junk down there. So anyway, kick back, take your shoes off. Let's go out and look for stuff after we drop off the equipment. All right. I've already been to Austin two weeks ago, so I didn't film anything. Also, too, I got to talking with uh, Alberto out in his yard about the difference between 60 kilohertz or 60 hertz and 50 hertz when I get down to Argentina and how to deal with the slight change in electricity and all. And I forgot to turn my camera on. Oh, well, anyway, stuff was back there. Now it's safely in his shop. So there. Right now, though, Jesse Lee, there, and me. We're going to go out and look for records because I buy old records. Sometimes I truck tube equipment around creation too, getting it worked on. But anyway, yeah, yeah, let's go look for records now. Good looking place. Well, check it out, see what's here. Looks like it's got the stuff. Elvis and the Ham's Beer Bear. Cool. Yeah, there's records. Reaching for my glasses and I already had them on. That's not good. Well, I have found a couple that I'm interested in. I'll see what they want for it. But he said there's a lot more in this building. Oh yeah, look at there. Oh, beautiful, 78s too. Okay, get that down there where I can see. Playable and it's broken. Oh man, I still gotta look it up though. That would have been killer. Might have made the whole day, but it's got a crack and bad heat damage. I bet hundred collectors have gone by and grabbed that twink record I just had in my hand and freaked out and then saw the crack and the damage and said the same thing as me. 
darn. Life is like a ball game. Checks what that is. Soul, I think. Jeter Davis. Not Skeeter, but Jeter. Okay, a few older countries. Early 50s, mid 50s. That's okay. Stereo gems, clarinet, polka. Oh man, that looked good. No, almost. That's a hard one to move. The Johnny Horton. Decent. Got some Grady Martin guitar. Look at that. A little travel coffee mug, I guess. damage on some of these, unfortunately. Well, there's a lot of water damage. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you now, I can't wait for you. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. So, April the 8th of next year is when my Sun Record tribute LP comes out on Bear Family. That would be nice if it had the cover. So y'all stay tuned and pick that thing up. It's going to have a big release. A whole lot of net, a whole lot of uh, good songs on there. If you like Rockabilly, or if you like Sun Records, or if you like both, they overlap. You should hit it. Get it. But don't split it. Can't have that happen. I hate these wire racks. They're the worst thing on earth. Satan himself designed training driveway salesman. Humble oil company. That's nice. Yeah, Satan himself designed these things. Remember the last time I came down this road, I think I might have turned earlier, I found a really rare garage record that I made some coin from. I don't know why I couldn't do it again today. I mostly came down just to do that uh, thing over at Alberto's, drop off that... Uh, tape deck and it's speaker and then my old caliphone needs some adjustment and tender sweet love down by the fire this is bonus time today Did I tell you I've sold most of my son collection yeah it's just about gone I'm happy though well cool got the all Night Boogie by Tommy Sosby. That's supposed to be, I think, a pretty good record. And then, Hank Williams' Love Sick Blues, just on a gorgeous 45. I always pick those up. Those are solid sellers. They're cheap, but people want Hank, and who am I to, who am I to tell them no? Well, all right, we're in small town Texas right now, and uh, this just looks like a place where there's going to be stuff. You never know who was here yesterday or last year, or who just opened up the shop you know recently and nobody's hit it so let's go hit it hit it hard too looks great doesn't it jesse's going to be looking as well he just woke up he's been asleep all morning and that's good he's been needing to detox his mind and rest and relax and all that hokey pokey all right so we're we're working the compass here we got to the center of town, so now I'm going down to the south, then I'll do a U-turn, head on back up, do the north, and then we'll continue east the way we were going. It's called a system. All right, now we're doing the north end of town, nothing on the south, unless I turned 100 yards short of something great. I'm sure that happens, I just don't need to know. If ignorance was bliss, I'd be blistered up, as my dad used to say. All right. We're at the Whistle Stop Cafe here in a little town of Giddings, Texas. I haven't been here in a million years, so maybe they put up a record or two since I was here. Well, all right. Let's see what's here. Come on. 
mi discos ahora. Been practicing my Spanish. I'm going to be awkwardly fluent by the time I get there. We're just awkward. I'm already awkward. It's my self effacing humor that makes people think they can put the deals over on me, much to their ch chagrin. Things might work out differently. Never good to go around acting like you're cock of the walk or know everything. Always somebody out there knows more. But it's, it ain't got, it ain't what you got, it's how you, how you use it. Like that one rockabilly singer, Tommy Cassell said. Ain't you watch it shake, it's how you move it or something. So if you can got it and you can shake it right, you can do well. You're suffocating that thing. has all sealed up. Yeah, the pads. 78s? No, 78 sleeves. Oh, how much? I wonder if I need any. Doesn't say they're for sale, though. Hey, yeah. lots of albums here and there. Not a, not a 45 one. Oh, good. They're playing Conway Tweedy. That makes life a lot better for me. Uh, uh, one records. I'm start shaking in a minute. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, some more 45 albums. Let's see what's in there. Usually that's what you find. Pop. There's our little pop stick. Looks like that's what it's going to be here. You always got to go through these books, though, because and then, then you'll find one that stuck an Elvis son in there or something. I've had that happen more than once. Okay, no love for me there, so let's go. Absolutely beautiful day today. I mean it. It's, it's nice. We're in the last part of October, and oh, it's just as good as can be. We had a really cold spell through uh, winter back in January, February in Dallas. Never saw it that cold, but enough about the weather. Now for the sports. Sports. Don't care. Let's go look for records. Well, unexpectedly, I find myself back in Austin. Alberto called and uh, he had put my little caliphone, well, not so little, the caliphone square dance turntable up on the bench, found one loose connection that he fixed and got rid of that awful hum that was in there yes he taught it to sing so we're back here i'm gonna pick that up and we'll take an alternate route home maybe hit some antique places on the way well i keep forgetting to show you but anyway that's part of what i went to see alberto today for my caliphone which now is just as quiet as the grave until you do turn it up before it was making a really annoying sound alberto literally had it fixed within the hour i just should have stuck around austin instead of driving off and looking did find a couple of little records though so we're going to head back up towards home but i'm going to take a back way hopefully we'll find some stuff go see my daughter in corsicana give her that guitar etc etc another day another dollar hopefully more than just a dollar anyway okay this looks like a good place here town called thorndale or something Oh. All right, nothing so far. Just a lady talking about how her cat broke her salt and pepper shakers. We all have our burdens and crosses to bear. It seems that that is hers. I see any records? I better go ask them. I bet they've got some squirrel away here. This just looks like the place, you know. Well, no luck there. So we'll go on down the road, see what we can find. What a cool place, just huh, music free, I suppose. Next place was right across the street. Let's check her out. Oh, this looked like a good place. Oh, well, we've had a whole bunch of nothing to find today, which is cool. Passed a couple of decent looking places. They were closed, so Jesse's gonna rest. 
riding car will wear you out. But I'm going to check this one place here that I think had records before. Yeah, I found a really good fiddling record here once. So let's let's go. Swing and a miss. Well, I guess that's it. It's after five. They've rolled up the sidewalks. Wasn't any other place to stop. And we went through a long part of the armpit of Texas with really nowhere to stop. So ended up with a couple of decent hillbilly 70 or 45s. And uh, that's a bonus because today's trip was just to take that stuff down to Alberto. And as a bonus, I did get my Caliphone turntable back in a very short turnaround time and it's working ever so nice. So, there's that. Tomorrow's flea market though, I'm gonna go check that out, so stay tuned. Y'all be good now, okay?